What is love? God is love. But love is not God. Think about that. Does God love us? Or does God only love himself? And his love for us is only because we're of us and in us. It's his love for us only because we're like the moon. He's the sun. We we love the moon because it sheds sheds light, the light of the sun. We love the sun. But the moon stops reflecting the light of the sun. We don't love the moon. Hell, we don't even know it exists. Is that how God's love is? I was just listening to a sermon about if your loved one dies and goes to hell, how are you going to be able to live in heaven forever and ever? Knowing your loved one is burning in hell. No, no, burning in the lake of fire. Let's get one thing straight. Hell is temporary. Hell is the jailhouse. The lake of fire is where you go forever and ever. Hell is cast into the lake of fire. So get your theology straight. Don't go to hell forever. Come on. You go to the lake of fire forever. But how do you live? Someone, someone, some, someone... I, this is what I heard. How can, how can I describe this? The more you go into sin, the less lovable you are. Because you, you're moving away from love. The more you move away from love, the less you can love others. The more self-centered, selfish, hateful, evil you will come until you suddenly wake up and find one day you don't even love your family you're full of you, you want to kill everybody and who can love a person like that and that's the way it is in heaven this their sin will make them so detestable their personality is so detestable we will no longer love them and God will no longer love them. But there's a problem. I see. If that be the case, then God, we really don't love anybody else for their sake. We love them because they're lovable. They had the quality, they reflect the qualities qualities of God, his love, his, his kindness, his faithfulness. Everything that God is, when a person, you, you love, you, everybody loves a loving person. Nobody loves a hateful person. But then God is loving us only because we manifest the qualities that he loves, uh, the qualities of himself. If that be the case, God doesn't really love us unconditionally, but he loves us because we're a reflection of his light, like the moon is a reflection of the sun. And likewise in heaven, if you're not going to love your loved ones because they're in hell and hateful, full of hate, got no love, even though, even though they're hateful, even though they would could not love you, then you never really loved them. To begin with, you just love the con. Uh, uh, you just love them because they could reflect the light of the sun, like the moon. They could be moons reflecting the light of the sun. If God truly loves somebody else, this is how it should be. God's love for them should be unconditional. He should love them no matter how rotten, how dark, how far away they move from Him. He He should be unable to stop loving them. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't say not allow them, them to go to hell forever and ever. You, if they're sick, if they're everything that God is not, if God is wholeness, the opposite of wholeness is being sick, you got to quarantine people who are sick. You love them, you weep, you weep for them, 
that they can not be with you, but you gotta quarantine them. Quarantine them. I just thought of something else. I'm I'm not gonna say that. It's a whole new, but if like I said, as God loves, if God truly is love. God loves us because not because of who he we are, but because of who he is. If that is correct, then God even should love the devil. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He should quarantine him. He even though he's gonna throw the devil at the bird forever and lake of fire because the devil's totally sick. Totally has no in other words, to be in heaven with God, you, you got to reflect who God is. Because God is pure. pure. The thing about purity is purity cannot stand anything impure. It repulses the, like, like magnus. If purity repels impurity. So, God, if God is love, he should love even the rottenest sinners, even the devil and his angels, even though his light repels their darkness. Even though the darkness cannot stand in front of his face, in front of him, because darkness cannot be where light is. Light is. But God is everywhere, even in hell, hell and the lake of fire. It's just he's turned his face. He's there, but all that he is is totally cut off from those who are in hell. You have absolutely no sense of God in his goodness because he's turned his face from you he's turned his light from you so you don't see if you don't see light there's nothing but darkness though I make my bed in hell hell behold thou God thou art there does God love us like this or are all those Calvinist preachers right God hates the sinner and loves only the elect would I, if I knew what the love of God is, would it, be, would it be truly be what I was told in my dream? I was having, this was in my worst, this was when I thought I had committed an unimportant sin that I could never be saved again. I had a dream. I was at Bill Fay Park in Jim's car. You all, you all remember her from you now. Little 13 year old girl. In my dream, Jim's car was saying, if you, just know, you just don't know how wonderful how awesome the love of God really is and then in, in my dream she said that to me is God's love like that or is God loves is God's love the under the totally underwhelming love of the Calvinist like A.W. Pink I hope God loves everybody even the sinners even the devil even though his light repels utterly repels our darkness and to me it was seen, God, with whom nothing is impossible. If he truly, truly loves the person, not, be, not, yeah, God loves us because of who he is, not who we are. Well, he, if he only loves us because we're a reflection of what he is, then he's loving us because what we are, a reflection of he is, and he's not truly loving us because of just who he is. Come on, you stupid theologians. Get a fucking clue. Y'all piss me off sometimes. Y'all make me doubt whether God's real sometimes. If God's love is truly, if God truly is love, and God, who who, who wants all men to be saved, all men to be saved, the coming of the lawless of the truth, and God, but nothing is God is impossible. Why in the hell hasn't he not thought of a plan? Why in hell can he not think of a plan while being true to himself? Whereby he can not only save the every person who's damned, even those who committed an unpardonable sin, and also save the devil and his angels. I know a way. I'm not gonna go ahead and do it in this video because nobody's gonna fucking watch it. If you want to ask me, I'll tell you. And I, I, the way he could save the devil and his angels, I, I learned 
that from Howard Storm, my descent into death, befriend life from God, befriend Jesus. Even though I doubt his Jesus is the real Jesus. I can go into that in another video too. Does God love me eternally, unconditionally? Does he also love me tenderly? Or is, lo is this love the underwhelming love of those goddamn Calvinists? Like A.W. motherfucking Pink. Who say A.W. Pink is almost like the Fred Phelps Westboro Baptist Church is. God hates sinners. A.W. Pink believes God hates babies who are not going to be saved before they die. Since God cannot change, God not, cannot love one and not love. Uh, what is the verse? And there's a verse in the Bible where God says, I will love them no more. That really bothers me. If God can stop loving anybody, and it's in, it's, 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 it's in the Bible, I, there are, I will love them no more. If God can stop loving anybody, I'm under, I'm not, I'm underwhelmed and disappointed in God.